Hi, my name is Chris Ryan, down here at the Belfry, doing a video today in the Talamo Performance Centre on how we can focus on our lead knee to help us hit better shots out on the golf course. Just before we get into that video, the details for Facebook, Instagram and Twitter should be down in the corner of the screen anytime about now, so please make sure you go ahead and follow me on those social media platforms. Right, so we're talking about the lead knee. So in my case, being a right-handed golfer, it's my left knee. And we're going to look at how the movement of this knee can really affect what the club ultimately does and how that ultimately affects what the ball does. So we're going to talk very briefly about the backswing, what we want that lead knee to do, but then we're going to start and focus a little bit more on the downswing and just maybe go through some of the movements that we'd like to see happen uh, and I say what these are going to do to your golf swing. Right, so if we just go from uh, normal address, we would hopefully see that it's set up, your lead knee has got some knee flex. That would be pretty common for most golfers. Now, what we're going to see in the backswing is that this lead knee should increase a little bit in flex. So we're not intentionally trying to increase the flex, but what we are doing is moving our hips and our pelvis in such a way, on an angle, on a tilted angle, that that will increase the flex in my lead knee. So you can see here that if the golf club represents my hips, when I make a backswing, I pivot, my hips and my pelvis rotate on an angle and you can see what that does to my lead knee. So it's increased in flex and from the front on camera it's moved a little bit in towards the golf ball. Okay, that's absolutely fine. We want to make sure that those things don't happen too much. So if my lead knee increases in flex maybe a little bit too much or it kicks in towards the golf ball a little bit too much, that could cause me potentially to lose a little bit of height because my left side is dipping a little bit, it's dropping a little bit too much in. So rather than actually thinking about the movement of this knee, I want you to think about how the hips and how the pelvis moves, and then just allow the knee to move relative to that. So if I can just get my hips to work correctly, my left knee, my lead knee has increased in flex and it's moved in towards the golf ball. Now, this movement, I would generally tend to see happening in a lot of golf swings. We maybe have to refine the movement a little bit. We maybe have to discuss the movement and maybe do a little bit of work on it. But generally, those patterns are evident in many, many golf swings. How the knee moves on the downswing is something which maybe golfers don't do quite as well. What I would tend to see all too often, and this is often from those golfers who are desperately trying to get weight forward at impact. They're definitely trying to shift the hips a little bit more towards the target. Those golfers will often f sort of have a movement where from the top, let's assume this knee's moved correctly, they often try and move the hips over this way. So they start to shift some pressure. But what we do is we leave that lead knee too much in its position than it was at the top. And then from here, we're going to get a few issues as we approach the golf ball. We're going to find it's very difficult to rotate. We're going to find it's very difficult to get the handle forwards. We're going to find it's very difficult to get the club exiting in the right fashion. So if that's incorrect, then what would be correct? Well, what I actually want you to feel from the top of your golf swing, and this is my terminology, I call it a roll with that lead knee. So I want you to feel that from a good position at the top, I want you to take this lead knee and I want you to feel like you rotate it and roll it around to a point where it's actually possibly a little further target side than what it was at setup. At setup, it was probably a little bit more in this position. So if I show you where that lead knee is there, when we actually make our downswing, I want you to feel that lead knee rolls around to this point here. If I can get the movement correct in that knee, what it will start to do is it will start to get my hips and my pelvis to function a little bit better through the golf swing. All too often, I see golfers where at this sort of halfway down point in their golf swing on their downswing, they haven't opened up enough in the knees and therefore they haven't opened enough in the hips. What that does, it means it's very, very difficult to get the hands forward. It's very difficult to get the body open enough, which in turn is gonna get the hands forward. So very, very common for me to see golfers try to shift weight, but actually don't get the knees opening up enough and actually getting that lead knee into a good position. If the knee works correctly, we'd often see that directly related to how the hands work. Now, when I talk about how the hands work, we're talking about, if I just drop the club on the floor for a moment, the hand path, so the movement of the hands. If I get my lead knee moving correctly, what will, that will often do is it will get my hands to move a little bit more out in front of me on the way down. This is very, very good if we want to feel like we lay the club down a little bit. So, we understand that in the golf swing, we can't isolate one particular movement. We know that if we change a certain element of the golf swing, it has knock-on effects to other things. 
Sometimes that's in a bad way. In this instance, we want to use it as a positive way, i.e. if we can get the left knee moving in the right fashion, we should get the hips moving, we should get the hand path a little bit better, and that should allow us to lay the club down, which we'd like to see because that's generally what golfers are not so good at doing. They tend to steepen the club shaft, often related to what the hips and the legs are doing. So really just understanding that movement and starting to make some goal swings where from the top, we start to roll the knee out. Okay, my right knee, which suddenly lost flex in my backswing, has now increased in flex a little bit. And I start to work my knees into this position here where I now definitely feel my lead knees a little bit more forward. That's allowed me to move some pressure. That's allowed me to move my hips and my pelvis correctly. That's allowed me to move my hands into the right position. And that in turn has allowed the club to fall into a much better delivery position. I am not suggesting by any means that if you just work on this knee, that club's going to fall into a great delivery position and you're going to hit lovely high draws and drop your hand to get by five shots. I'm not suggesting that. But we can look at this lead knee and we can start to look at how it moves and we can start to improve that, which is going to help us achieve some maybe other positions in our golf swing, which we'd like to work towards. So let me hit a couple of shots for you. I've just got on my dime and just pick a target out there. I'm just going to try and focus on those things. So once I get to the top, I'm actually going to start with that knee. I'm going to get that rolling motion, get the feeling of my knees are moving back a little bit, which is where they came from, and then even further, more target side of that. Right, let me go ahead and hit one. And I'd certainly be very, very happy with that. Pretty good ball flight, nice and straight. I'll just hit one more for you. Same feeling, gonna focus on that lead knee and how it moves in the downswing. And again, pretty good. So just one last point to note. We've spoken about how this knee moves in the downswing. If we look at the good golfers, we find that the movement happens before the club has finished moving away from the golf ball. Now, I have done videos on this in the past. In an ideal world, we would start the movement with that knee as the club is finishing its backswing. I don't really want you to feel like you make a backswing and then you start to make that movement. It's okay in practice to do that because it'll be easy for you to get the movements and the patterns there. But in reality, we wanna get this knee moving a little bit before the club has finished moving away from the golf ball. That's gonna help you improve your sequencing, which is the sequence which the body works. And that's gonna help us deliver the club with some speed and that's gonna give us ultimately some more distance. So hopefully that helps. Not so many drills in that video, but just maybe understanding what we're trying to do with that knee and just trying to understand the movement of it. We don't want to get caught into the habit of shifting weight and pressure, but not opening these knees up. At this point here, my knees are, are quite shut relative to what we'd like them to do. It may well be that we've shifted some pressure and we've got target side of the golf ball with our pelvis, but it's going to be very difficult from there to deliver that club to the golf ball how we'd like to. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, click the like button. There's also a comments box down there. I'm sure you know all about that, but it'd be, love, it'd be great to hear sort of if you've got any comments on, on this video or any of the videos you'd like me to do, you can let me know via those or via my social media platforms. And if you haven't done any of them, also click, click, I should say, the subscription link, which is in the description box down below this video. Right, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.